is Jared Horak for today's RacingDigest.com. We're going to do a weekend video stakes doubleheader from Santa Anita Park for Saturday, February 10th and Sunday, February 11th. Uh, we're going to do the San Vicente stakes Saturday, the Sweet Life stakes for Sunday. But let's jump into the San Vicente. It's a grade two. It's going to be the sixth race at Santa Anita Park on February 10th. Uh, for three-year-olds, seven furlongs on the main track, six horse field. Number one, X-Man is your six to five morning line favorite. He romped in his debut at Santa Anita Park on January 1st. In that six furlong race, he got a 144 final rating. The distant show finisher was Lombo. He came back and broke his maiden. And then last weekend, he won the grade three Robert Lewis stakes. So X-Man's going to show speed from that inside post for trainer Bob Baffert. But he's not the only speed horse in here. Uh, number two, Mr. Jägermeister is one that's going to show speed. Uh, he's coming in from Canterbury. Uh, this one, uh, last August and September at Canterbury, he got 147 and 146 final ratings in a pair of six furlong races. Now he's going to meet some West Coast speed in here and some serious speed. Uh, he's, uh, like I said, Axeman's going to show speed. Uh, you're going to have uh, number three, Nero, to right to Mr. Jägermeister's outside. It's going to show speed as well. Uh, this one's going to have to prove his class, uh, and, and, and how is he going to run off a layoff, we're going to see. Uh, obviously the numbers are good, but he's going to have to go another furlong against much better horses. And then number three, Nero, is the other one that I mentioned that has speed. He's X-Man's stable mate. And he got a 122 final rating, adding blinkers in his last start at five and a half furlongs. He's going to go from five and a half to seven furlongs. He's going to show speed. He's going to have to run faster. Number four, All Out Blitz. He's one that should set a good tactical trip in here. His CPR, fire ratings, and final ratings all improved in all four of his lifetime starts. And in his last start, in the one mile, grade three sham stakes, he got a 138 final rating. Uh, he's going to cut back in distance. Like I said, he's probably going to show tactical speed. And the, the top trainer stat in this race, trainer Simon Callahan, he's 33% with his dirt sprint starters. And he's had over 50 starters in dirt sprints. So that's a good category for trainer Simon Callahan. He's cutting back at distance. He's got the class and, and he's got the speed as well. Uh, number five, a Kentanka. Now this one got a 123 final rating, breaking his maiden at seven furlongs on December 26th, opening day at Santa Anita. He's another one that's going to have to run faster. And then number six, Chris's Rocket Hat. This one's interesting. Tactical speed. In his debut, he finished fifth of 11. The winner in, the, in there was Murino for trainer Bob Baffert. That one won the Smarty Jones Stakes in January at Oaklawn Park. The second place finisher was Peace, and he came back and broke his maiden. But then last week, he was the favorite in the Robert Lewis Stakes, and he dis disappointed. And then in Still Regard was the third place finisher in his debut, and he ended up winning the Comp Stakes at Fairgrounds in January. So Chris's rugged cat faced good horses in his debut. And then in his second career start, he improved nicely. He won by more than three lanes at Del Mar on November 25th. He got a 134 final rating. And his last fraction was 37.5, so he's the fastest finisher in this field. All the speeds to the inside. If he's ready to roll off of a layoff for trainer Richard Baltus, he looks interesting. And here's how we'll play this one. We'll make a six. We'll make a win wager on number six, Chris's Rocket Cat. We'll play an exacta. Chris's Rocket Cat, number six, on top of number one, X-Man. Number four, All Out Blitz. Reverse that exacta, the one, four, over the six. Let's jump on to Sunday's uh, feature race now. And that'll be the ninth race from Santa Anita Park on, Saturday, on Sunday, February 11, 2018. The $75,000 Sweet Life Stakes, three-year-old fillies, six and a half furlongs on the downhill turf course. We have a 12-horse field, and looking at the Today's Racing Digest numbers here, I've narrowed this one down to four contenders. My top choice is going to be number four, War Heroin. I think she is the one to catch. She got a 120 final rating in her, in her debut. That was in a dirt sprint at Del Mar last November. Second time out, she showed speed. She faded in the grade two Santa Ynez. So now she's going to try turf. She's bred well enough for turf. Tyler Bays gets aboard, a good speed rider. And Peter Miller has the, the strong trainer stat in this race. He's 26% with his turf sprint starters. She's very fast. She's going to get out there. And if she gets loose, she could be tough to catch. The downhill course has favored speed horses lately. Number eight, Miss Bad Behavior is going to be my second choice. She has tactical speed. She got a 128 final rating down the hill on January 19th, winning that one. Tiago Pereira, Richard Baltus, two for six, jockey trainer team. Number one, out of the flames, finished right behind Miss Bad Behavior last time out. Sometimes the inside post is tricky to handle on the downhill turf course, especially when there's a full field. This one got a 126 final rating down the hill on January 19th. Flavian Pratt, Simon Callahan, seven for 24 together, and Simon Callahan, 21% with his turf sprint starters. 
Finally, number seven, Treasuring, also trained by Simon Callahan, was a grade three winner in Ireland uh, in a turf sprint in the summer of 2017, finished seventh of 12 in a turf sprint stakes race at Delmar in November and got a 120 final rating. I think she could like the downhill turf course. So in this race, the Sweet Life Stakes, we're going to make a win wager on number four, War Heroin. We're going to play exacto number four, War Heroin, on top of number one, seven, and eight. Let's reverse that exacto, one, seven, and eight over the four. And then a trifecta, number four, War Heroin, number eight, Miss Bad Behavior, on top, all in second. And the number one, Out of the Flames, number seven, Treasuring, in third. If you're interested in my full card analysis from Santa Anita Park, you can find that daily at todaysracingdigest.com. And also, if you're interested in these complete digests, for Santa Anita Park for Saturday, February 10th, Sunday, February 11th. You can find those in the product section at todaysracingdigest.com. That will wrap up this week's Stakes Doubleheader. I'll be back next week with another Stakes Race from around the country.